worthy to be praised hallelujah 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 amen let me know when we're on deacon john amen well welcome to streamers y'all come on y'all stand up tonight come on this is good friday why y'all sitting down come on this good friday amen we just give god thanks amen this is the day amen that we commemorate our savior going to the cross amen amen and we thank him for dying for dying for our sins amen 
Amen. Amen. We're just going to open up in a word of prayer and then we're going to go into our praise and worship. Father, we thank you tonight, God. We thank you for being a Lord over our lives. We thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, for sending your son to the cross on our behalf, God. He who knew no sin, Father, took on our sins. And tonight, God, we come together and we celebrate and we remember the sacrifice that you have done for our lives, Father. And we just give you thanks, Father. We just pray, God, right now for those that are on the road. God, we pray for travel and mercy, Father, that are coming here on tonight, God. We just pray, God, right now that you would bring them here safe and sound, Father. And Father, we invite your spirit, God, into this service. I don't hear y'all praying with me. Don't just listen to me. Y'all got to pray too. Father, we invite your spirit into this service, Father, on tonight, God. Come in and have your way, Father. Walk the aisles, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, in tonight, God, also heal us, God. Heal our bodies, Father. Heal our minds, God. Let your spirit, Father, rest in this place as we come together in your house, Father, to give you the praise and to give you all the glory. We just give you thanks, Father, on tonight. It is in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen. Come on, let me hear y'all clap. Let me hear y'all clap in this place like a mighty army. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get in some praise and worship.
in the Lord. Come on. Hey, this is Good Friday. Amen. We celebrate our King. We celebrate our God. Today, we thank you, dear God. We thank you, Father, for dying on the cross for our sins. Oh, God, we thank you, Father. Sometimes we forget the sacrifice, but we thank you, God. We give you praise and we give you honor, Father. And I know one day, God, this is all going to be over and you're going to come back, God, and you're going to place your feet, God. Oh, on the Mount of Olives if you're going to be claiming that you are indeed the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come on, let's worship Him in this place. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God this morning or tonight, I should say. 
We serve a mighty God. Amen. How many are glad? How many are glad that he died for our, for your sins? Amen. 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 Come on and clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, voices. Amen. He's worthy of the praise. And our hearts will sing. How great is our God. Don't we serve a great God, y'all? Woo, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Come on, y'all gotta talk to me. Oh, yeah. We serve a mighty, mighty God. Amen. And he is indeed worthy of the praise. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of our Lord. Amen. We just give God thanks. Amen. For allowing us to come into the house of the Lord. Amen. To worship him on tonight. Amen. We're not going to be here all night. Amen. We're not going to prolong the time. Um, um, but we come to celebrate. We come to celebrate um, our father um, going to the going to the cross. Amen. Going to Calvary on our behalf. You know, a lot of churches not using words like Calvary and, and blood and, and stuff like that. Amen. But we recognize the sacrifice. Amen. That our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of the, what can make me whole again. Good God Almighty. Amen. It was his blood. Amen. The blood that was shed for us. Amen. On Calvary. My God, I get excited. I get so excited. Amen. We like to thank our streamers. Come on, Remnant. Let's give them a hand clap. Thank you for joining us tonight. Amen. We here on Friday night. Amen. Some people getting ready to go do their thing tonight. Amen. But we've come in the house of God. Amen. To give him praise and to give him honor. We come to give glory to his glory on tonight because he's worthy of the praise. And we thank you for joining Joining us on here um, tonight, we thank God for you. Amen. I think we got a couple announcements. We ready, Diggy John? All right, all right. Somebody got to get the lights now because he's doing double duty tonight. Oh, somebody got it. All right. If we hear your phone receive a text message, you may be forced to stand and read it out loud to the congregation. If your phone rings during the service, you'll be giving the pastor a break as you preach next week. If you answer that phone call, we'll happily give your shiny new device a swift baptism. If your phone resurrects from this conversion experience, we'll rename your phone the I Lazarus but give it a double dunk for good measure. Again, we're so thankful you came today. Come next week to hear our guidelines on crying babies. The great crowd that had gathered heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The crowd praised him, celebrated his miracles, and with great expectation, told everyone about him. But they did not know him. They were waiting for someone who would rule with strength and might, but he came as a humble servant. They were expecting a general who would crush their enemies. But he came saying, love your enemies. They wanted him to finally bring their people glory, but he wanted to change them so their lives would bring God glory. They would soon realize that Jesus wasn't going to be what they wanted, and they turned on him before they ever realized he was what they needed. And as they yelled, crucify, Pilate asked Jesus, are you a king? Jesus answered, I am not that kind of king. His kingdom isn't what you see here. It won't be established by chaos and war. His kingdom is in our hearts. His kingdom is righteousness, forgiveness, and love. 
Today, we lift our voices. We cry, Hosanna, Lord, save us. Come dwell in our hearts, Jesus Christ, our King. much less about shouldering a burden and so much more about laying it down. Laying down your life to follow the only one glorious enough to overcome. All our tears, all our struggles, all the worries of this world to point the way to everlasting. High on a hill, the old rugged cross stands firm as our hope of resurrection, proving that nothing can stop God from proving his love for you. So lay down your trophies, look forward to your crown, and cling to the cross of your King. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it's someday for a crown. Amen. Y'all remember that? The old rugged cross. My God have mercy. Thank God for the old rugged cross. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all clap for the old rugged cross. Y'all too quiet for me tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But we're getting ready to get started tonight. Amen. With our seven saints. Amen. When Christ went to the cross on our behalf and then he was laying stretched out what they say they they stretched him high and stretched him wide amen for our sins amen and uh, he said some things while he was on the cross amen that would have been us on the cross we would have been saying some things but we wouldn't have been saying that come on y'all talk to me now amen but we thank god we thank god for jesus come on deacon robinson come on y'all y'all welcome our senior deacon robinson amen father forgive them amen how many times you got to forgive people y'all come on deacon robinson amen amen well it's a great blessing to be here tonight <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just here to read a scripture, and the scripture says that then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. 
we need to think about these scriptures. Uh, you know, sometimes um, people get the best of us, and we want to fight back. But what authority does Jesus say? Yeah, yeah. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I mean, we really need to th really think about this scripture. Deep. Well, sometimes I really have to think about it. <laughs> That's it. I was just enjoying it. What happened? Oh, my God. Amen. Father, forgive them. Amen. For they know not what they do. Amen. Sometimes you got to say that, y'all, instead of, like, cussing people out. Amen. You got to just say that sometimes. Isn't it, isn't it like our Father? Isn't it like Christ? Amen. On the cross, they beating them and calling them all kind of names. And he got all power to come off the cross. But the first thing he said was forgive them. You know, sometimes if we do that, y'all, that load will come off of us. I'm telling you, forgive them. Don't matter what they did to us, but forgive them, y'all. Forgiveness is a big thing. Come on, y'all. Let's give Deacon Robinson a hand clap. I, I thought he was getting ready to take us in. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, Deacon John, he, he doing triple duties, y'all, tonight. Amen. Amen. He said, you will be with me in paradise. Come on, y'all. Y'all clap, 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 clap. Come on, y'all. Y'all make some noise in this place. I don't like no quiet church. Come on. You're going to be with me in paradise. Woo. Come on, y'all. Get with him now. Good evening, everyone. It's nice to be here. We honor something that um, it took a lot of love to do. You know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that we may have eternal life. That's an important thing. Um, my thing is going to start from the book of Luke, chapter 23, verse 33. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the male factors, one on the right and the other on the left. Okay, and this verse says that um, when Christ was crucified, he wasn't alone. He had two people that was with him. And they, 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 the Bible calls them male factors. And in Matthew 27, 38, calls them thieves. So we're going to call them thieves tonight. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, going further down into the book of Luke, the 23rd chapter. We get down to the 39 verse, and it says, here's a reading of God's holy word. I forgot to say that. Forgive me. <laughs> and one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, if thou be the Christ, save thyself. Now, rail means that he disrespected him. I mean, he, he maybe shouted obscenities, saying something that wasn't good. So his, his idea of Christ was something that he heard about. Maybe he heard from somewhere or somewhere in the, um, you know, people talking that this was a good man. He does certain things. So he thought to himself that, okay, if, if this is supposed to be a good man, let me try to bait him into helping me. Because that's all he was really thinking about. He was thinking about himself. So he tried to bait Christ saying that if you be the Christ, you know, come down and save me and you. Now, that wasn't a good thing. See, that shows that he really didn't know who Christ was. But now the other one, the other Steve, now he answered, he responded in verse 40. But the other answer rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing that thou art in the same condemnation? Now when he rebuked him, he said, How dare you say something like that to this man? This man didn't do anything wrong. We're the ones that were, were guilty. So we, we deserve what we say. It, like it says in 41, and we indeed and ju justly for what we receive the due re uh, reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss. And he continued on and said, and he said in 42, he said unto the Lord, 
to Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Now, truly, this man knew who God, who Christ was. He knew he was the son of God. He knew, he knew, he knew that what Luke 4 and 12 says, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. That's why he rebuked the guy. He knew in John 1, 29, behold, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. He, he knew in John 18, 36, my kingdom is not of this world. And he knew in John 11, 25, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And one more, John 14, 2 and 3. And he said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. There where I am, there you be maybe also. Now, after he said that, Christ knew that he knew who he was. He knew he was the son of God. So he answered in verse 43, and Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today, today shalt thou be with him, with me in paradise. Thank you. Woo! Come on, y'all can do better than that. Y'all need to be standing up and clapping. Come on here now. Hey, God have mercy. He just made it in at the ninth hour. Good God Almighty, Jesus have mercy. Some of us just gonna make it in. God have mercy. Woo! Today, God have mercy, you're going to be with me in paradise. My God, isn't our God good? Ooh, what a powerful word. Come on, y'all give him a hand clap again. Amen, 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 amen. I'm sorry, I keep moving my, um, my program. Amen, y'all may be seated. Amen, amen. Y'all finally woke up. It took y'all, what, about 30 minutes to get the engine? Y'all like an old, like an old car. Shh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen, amen. Well, we have um, we have um, our minister, um, minister of music. Amen. Yeah, woman, behold, your son. We're gonna put my music on for you, brother Dallas. I got you a little something. Come on now. I got some little hoop. Now you want a hoop? Come on, y'all give him a hand clap. Y'all can do better than that. Come on now. Woo, woman, behold your son. Jesus. I will, I will not be hooping on this beautiful oh, night. Oh, Lord. Not tonight. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll be coming from John 19. Uh, I'll start at uh, verse 25. When you got to say amen. I think they gave me five minutes. I'm going to try and be out by two. Now they're stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, <laughs> Mary the wife of Cleopas and Mary Magdalene when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved he said unto his mother woman behold thy son yeah, 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 yeah. then said to the disciple behold thy mother and from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home so uh, many people uh speak about this passage differently. Uh, the revelation I got from this passage is uh, we are, God gifts us people. We are tied to people, meaning people, we have certain people we have to speak to or minister to on a daily basis. You come to church, you might be the only person that say hi to one person, but that's your ministry. So to me, when Jesus said, woman, behold thy son, then he looked at the disciple and said, behold thy mother. He was giving them a ministry to each other. To, to, to protect each other, to, to, to minister to each other. When, when you down, okay, no, we got to keep going. Or when you don't feel like going to church, no, we got to go. We got, we got a word to give. So we have to be mindful of our ministry and what God is giving us to do and speak to who? I said two minutes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Lord. I wanted to do a little hoop. Oh, Lord Jesus. Come on, y'all give him a hand clap here. Come on. 
Hallelujah. Woo. God have mercy. Amen. Amen. I can shout off anything. I can shout off Jesus' web. Hey, God, don't take much for me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me, a wretch like me. Oh, come on, y'all, a sinner like me. He picked me up. He turned me around. And he placed my feet on solid ground. Y'all ain't going to help me tonight. But I love Jesus. Do you love him tonight? I love some Jesus. Do you love him? Do you love him? Woo! God have mercy. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, God have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. Woo! God have mercy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Hey, God have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One day we just going to come in here, y'all, and just shout all day. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So rub some stuff on your knees. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And let's just have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Well, we're going to just take a little, um, what, what they call intermission. Amen. And we're just going to receive an offering on tonight. Y'all don't mind, do you? Amen. I said, y'all don't mind, do you? Amen. Sister Valerie, come on, give me some, give me some, give me something soft out of my purse if you don't mind. Amen. 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 Well, y'all know, y'all know the, the drill. Amen. Y'all know the drill. Amen. Those of you who need an offering envelope, raise your hands. Um, Deacon Charles will serve you on tonight. Raise them real, real high. Amen. Of course, you want to give by. And those of you that are streaming as well. Amen. If you want to show tonight, amen, you can, you can. Amen. We thank you for your giving on tonight. Amen. And those of you who want to sow via credit card, you can see Sister Valerie. Amen. How much you got? You ain't got all my money out. No, I'm just messing with you. I'm just kidding. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. You came tonight on a Friday night. On a Friday night. Amen. Friday night, you just got paid. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me tonight. Amen. 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 There's no other place I would rather be but in the house of God. How about y'all? Woo! They don't, they don't listen. Ain't no club can... Ain't no club can pull me out, can pull me out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. I love being in the house of God. I love the music. Amen. Amen. That's right. Come on, y'all. Crank it up. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Amen. Those of you, of course, you want to sew via credit card. See, Minister uh, Valerie. Amen. Of course, y'all know. We got it up. Uh, Deacon John, the credentials. Amen. Give LaFi. Y'all know. Give LaFi. Uh, Zell Cash Shop. Amen. Amen. And I want to let y'all know, y'all, we're moving forward. We're moving forward. We're making progress. Amen. With the trip. Amen. Uh, we're not there yet, y'all. We're not there. So don't forget. Don't forget, y'all. Don't forget. Amen. To start um, giving your money to Minister uh, to Minister Valerie. All right. Come on. Let us all stand. Let us bless the offering. Let us bless the offering. Come on, the middle, Deacon Charles. Come on, now, a little bit over to your left. There you go. Father, we thank you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for tonight, Father. Once again, we thank you for sending your son to die on the cross on our behalf. We just thank you tonight, Father. And as we sow our seed, Father, into your kingdom, God, for the advancement of your kingdom, Father, we ask that you bless us. Bless our coming in and going out. Bless us in the city and bless us in the field. Uh, rebuke the devourer for our sake, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Everybody say amen. And amen. Come on, y'all give your offering with a smile. Come on, give your offering with a smile. And y'all can clap while you're standing up. You can clap. Put your hands together and clap, 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 clap. Woo!
love that. That sounds good. Amen. 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 Deacon John, you got that video for the uh, baptism? Were you able to get that for the baptism? Amen. Okay. I'm going to go on for a little bit and see can you get that. And uh, we'll move on and see if you can get the baptism on tomorrow. Don't y'all forget, y'all. What time is baptism tomorrow? There you go. There you go. There you go. Amen. We want you there. Amen. 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 Don't forget. I can't wait to hear the good report. Um, I hope we can uh, film some things. Amen. Amen. And bring that back so everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. Amen. Amen. Minister Bourbon is not here yet. Minister Carla, you did this one last year, didn't you? Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabachthani, Sabachthani. Come on, Minister Carla, you have to do two tonight. Amen. Amen. Be ye also ready. Ah, be you ready, huh? My former bishop used to always tell me, uh, he, I was a minister at the time, he said, Minister T, I always have a message in your back pocket. Amen, because you never know when I may toss you the mic. Amen, so she's coming. Come on, y'all give a hand clap. Y'all get with her, y'all. Come on now. Amen. Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Woo! Thank God our Lord and Savior died. He died. We look at Sunday, he got up, but he had to die. He had to suffer and die, and he's taught us many things. Uh, it's, I remember from when we did the study last year, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabbath the Nye. That was the, um, <laughs> that was the... <laughs> <laughs> that was the um, saying that the Lord said in anguish, anguish from the cross. But we learned, I learned, and I was, you know, it's good that we had this study and we were asked to do this because when you look into things more deeply, the, the Lord does give you revelation as Brother uh, Minister Dallas said. He, he was reading and he had a revelation. And I was thankful that I realized the Lord was working. When he was on the cross, his whole life was ordered to fulfill scripture. The Holy Spirit, God the Father, were guiding when he was a baby, making sure that his mother gave birth in Bethlehem. And uh, when the angels sent the holy couple to Egypt, that was to be able to fulfill the scripture that when Herod died and they came back, I have called my son out of Egypt. And so all along the way, his life began to fulfill in certain places that he needed to be and things that he needed to do. And it was to point people to the fact that I am the son of David. Yes. And that's when, uh, when he spoke out in anguish, he was actually quoting from his father, David. His father would be under the influence of the Holy Spirit and begin to write the Psalms that have been preserved for us today. And when his father was being embattled by his enemies enemies kept attacking israel kept attacking israel and he had to continue to defend and when he would pour out his his heart he was saying how they um the these dogs are just uh sniping at me and they're ridiculing me they're saying if god uh, be your father let him deliver you and they have uh taking my garments and cast lots for him. All of this was happening in his, in his imagination. He was saying the things that the enemies wanted to do, the, do to him, and he was envisioning a time when they had gotten his garments and cast lots, but that didn't ever really happen. These were the things in the Psalms that he was pouring out, and he was saying while he was so upset, uh, King David said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So when Christ was speaking out, it was a prophetic indicator that when, you, when this is written down and this story is told, you'll understand that I am testifying, even in my death, that I am the son of David. And his life just fulfilled the prophecies. 
So, uh, and that ties into, you said to continue on. And that ties into, I started, um, I had no idea, but I just started um, researching this title that I was given, Into Thy Hands I commit my, Commend My Spirit. And I uh, just thought he was just saying a word of completion. But as I read and I studied, thank God for scholarly people who, uh, who put their stuff on the internet. And when you start Googling around, you learn some things. And I found out yet again, even in his last sentence before he breathed out and gave up the ghost, Jesus was working. Do you know that was a prophetic indicator again? I didn't know. But that statement, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit, was also written in the Psalms. And in the Torah, they had constructed a prayer that the priest would encourage the congregation to say, as you are rising up in the morning, as you're laying down at night, it's called, and it is Hebrew, I'm going to attempt to say it, it is a prayer that includes that statement. It's the last statement of this prayer that says, into your hands I commit my spirit. It is the Kriyat Shema Al Hamita, is that prayer. And at that time, people were saying that when Jesus was alive, that was a prayer that they were told to say. It's a long prayer, but at the end of it, it's Kriyat Shema Al Hamita, and it comes from that Psalm of David. And Jesus was again with his last breath confirming. It was a prophetic marker. I am the son of David. Into thy hand I commend my spirit. And I was just so impressed with God. Because he he was under the most severe persecution that a human being could be under. Crucifixion when the Romans developed that way of torture and death. It was to bring the most pain over the longest period of time. And so crucifixion uh, it began to be interpreted as out of the cross. So when someone is suffering, this is crucifying me, it means that torture that comes out of the cross. And so that's where he was, but he never lost focus. He, he was faithful until death. And he's such an example. I believe that he was pointing uh, us in certain directions. And um, another thing that occurred to me, he chose that purposely to quote that part of the prayer so that when it was recorded, he knew someone was listening. He knew that this would be preserved for us. And it's a way of thinking about how we should live in this world. He's teaching us how to live and to die because that uh, part of that script of that prayer, it was to be spoken as you lay down and as you wake up. As you're living, you're saying you're committing your spirit. Yet he said that when he died, but the theme that is all through the gospels is that though we are living, we are dead to this life into the flesh, but we have arisen in Christ, though we are yet alive upon the earth. And I said, you know, he pro- the Lord, he knew we would think about things. He knew we would ponder. He knew we would study the word. So when he said, into thy hands, I commend my spirit, it is also a lesson to us that we can learn from the ancient Jews. They would commit their spirits before they're going to bed and they would commit again when they raised up. It was their way of saying that um, this day, I have done all that I can for you. And now I am committing my spirit as I lay down to sleep. That is the best I can do. And if they found that they raised up in the morning, they would say it again, that with every breath I have, it's all to you. My spirit is committed to you. I don't live for myself, I live for God. And so as I kept pondering it, and pondering, I said, what about that? What if we lit, take that message from the cross, I commit my spirit every night when we get up. I mean, we lay down every morning. When we get up, we know that having done all to stand, I have stood. And I'm in the armor of God all day long. And then um, certain scriptures came uh, to me. I thought about baptism. 
because it is a symbol that as we are submerged in that water and we come up again, we're signifying the, the life, death, and burial of Jesus Christ and his resurrection. And this scripture came to me, Romans 6, 3, and 4. Know ye not that so many of us, as we're baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So he was quoting that into thy hands, I commit my spirit. And he knew that they understood those who were listening, that meant as you lay down and as you get up. So as you live on from this point, he knew the gospel would be preached. And we are, are supposed to be now in that process of, of dying to the flesh. As a, and a few f scriptures came to me, Galatians 2 and 20, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Galatians 5 and 24, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passion and desires. Luke 9, 23 and, 9, and 24, and he, Jesus, said to them all, if any man come after me, let him pick, deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And in Revelations, Jesus came again to the Isle of Patmos and told John, he said in Revelations 2 and 10, be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. So he was teaching us, he's left these words for us to know how to live and how to die. And we know the first, Steve, uh, the first martyr, Stephen, he said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He was faithful. Um, so that was the revelation that came to me. And my final thought on the matter was Jesus, through his last statement, is teaching us by example and pointing the way to understanding that if we live with the attitude of into thy hands I commend my spirit daily, then when we do die, we will receive a crown of life. And I was just led to the last words of some powerful Christians because they lived that way. They committed their spirit every day to the Lord so that when they died, their last words, it was amazing. Some of the people, you never know, um, I never know these new what the last words were of D.L. Moody. We've heard of Moody Institute, Moody Bible Institute. D.L. Moody, his last words before he died, he lifted up and he turned to his sons who he intended to carry on after him. And he said, if God be your partner, make your plans large. And then he died. Um, wow, isn't that something? Because of Jesus, what he did when he hung on the cross. And there was... Um, a song, a hymn called Rock of Ages. The author, his name was Augustus Topoli, and he died at the age of 38. His last words were, I enjoy heaven already. In my soul, my prayers are all converted into praises. And then he died. And then Martin Luther, the father of the Reformation, whom Martin Luther King Jr. was named after, they wanted to name him after a powerful man of God, he said, his last words, our God is the God from whom cometh salvation. God is the Lord by whom we escape death. He chose his last breath to preach the word of God. Amen. My God, what a powerful teaching, y'all. Ooh, my God, to your hands. My God, I commit. Amen, my spirit. I never knew that. I never knew that. Amen. But I thank God for such a rich teaching on tonight. Amen. Come on, y'all give another hand clap. Woo! She had a little Hebrew in there, too. I, gotta, I have to go back to seminary to get that Hebrew in me, too, as well. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Um, Minister Valerie? Amen. Come on, y'all. I thirst. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on now. Y'all give the administrator. Come on now. Amen. I thirst. I thirst. That's right. Come on now. Come on. That's right. Good, e good evening, Remnant. Good evening. Good evening. I was saying, I got to come behind that. <laughs> oh, my God. But one thing I can say, um, it was a profound 
two words that the Lord said on the cross, I thirst. I'm coming from John 19 and 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. When I thought about the word I thirst, I said, mm, God, the creator of the universe, was thirsty. The same God that separated the seas from heaven was thirsty. The same God that called rain from heaven was thirsty. The God of Exodus who parted the Red Sea was thirsty. The, the source of the living water was thirsty. So I said, Lord, are you joking, right? So um, what I got out of this um, scripture was, is that the Lord was thirsty, but he wasn't thirsty as we would say in the natural because he is God. So I believe that when he said he thirsts, I think he was thirsting for something on high. So I say, let's not be thirsty for the things of this world. Let's not be thirsty for cars. Let's not be thirsty for husbands. Let's not be thirsty for wives. Let's not be thirsty for clothes. But let's be thirsty for the things of God. Amen. Mother like son. That is my five minutes. Amen. Come on now, I was waiting for some more of that. Good God Almighty. Come on, let us not be thirsty for the world, but let us be thirsty for the everlasting water. Woo! Jesus said if you drink from him, you will never thirst. Woo! Come on, y'all can do better than that. Woo! I ain't thirsty for nothing. I'm thirsty for Jesus. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, I'm thirsty for Jesus. Woo! Lord have mercy. Woo, God, that was good. Woo! Y'all putting some word down tonight. Lord have mercy. They're going to be preaching more often, y'all. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on, while you're standing. Come on, y'all. Let's, let's give it up for Deacon Ray Charles, y'all. Ray Charles Ellison. He said, it is finished. It is finished. Come on, y'all. Woo! Here begins the reading of the Lord's word. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. When he said that, he was saying that it's a conclusion of what he was put on earth to do. He was put on earth to minister to us. He was put on this earth to that for our sins. In Christ's time, whenever a king put a word out, he had to live by it. He couldn't take it back. And the word that God put out was the penalty for sin is death. So Christ, being the son of God, the creator of the heaven and earth, took it upon himself because of his love for us to excuse us or die for us yeah. for our sins. That's right. That's right. Christ lived a full life. Right. He was sinless. I used to always wonder how can a person be human and he was but he was also deity. How can he live a life, a sinless life? Well, he died for our sins, but the word says the penalty for death, for sin is death. Even though he didn't sin, but he died for our sin. And I used to always wonder about that. How can a person live a full life like he did? and not sin. So I come to the conclusion that, well, he knew everything. Whatever something sin approached him, he knew how to deal with it because he knew what it was all about. He was deity. Hallelujah. 
So he knew everything. He knew the thoughts of man. He knew what a person would say before they did it. He knew when something came his way before it happened. So he, al he always knew what the end game was. He was deity, yet he was man. Can we do that? Personally, no, but we can learn from his mistakes, from our mistakes, I should say, and look at him as to how he dealt with certain situations. And it goes further and said, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Well, I don't like the King James when they say that because, <laughs> well, anyway, he said it is finished. His mission on this earth, if you will, as you will, was done. He went to the cross willingly. He lived the life knowing what this time was going to be. And he must have wrestled with it constantly all through his life. And now he comes to this point. It's finished. My mission is over. It's accomplished. Come on, y'all. Give him a hand clap. It is finished. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised. The chastisement was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Y'all remember this song? It's old. DJ, you got that song up? Oh. What can you add? E flat? Let me come in. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Come on and say at the cross, at the cross, at the cross, where I, where I first saw the and the burden, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was, it was there by faith. Say I received, I received my, my and now I now I am happy. Come on, one more time, y'all. Come on and say, at the cross, say, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden, and the burden of my heart, they rolled away, rolled away. It was there by faith, say, I, I received my Father God, I thank you for tonight, Father. It is at the cross, Father, where we received our sight, Father. We thank you, God, tonight. Thank you for every speaker, Father, on tonight. Thank you, Father. God, I ask that you pour them out a blessing, Father. They won't have room to receive, Father. And once again, Father, we just thank you, God. We don't even know, God, the sacrifice, God. Oh, God, that you made for us. But we thank you tonight on Good Friday. We thank you for dying, oh, God, for our sins, God. And we just say, God, all the glory. Glory and all the power belongs to you. Say at the cross. Come on at the cross. At the cross where I first saw the light and the tonight we look forward to seeing you on easter we look forward to seeing you sunday amen wherever you are in south florida come and join us amen as we celebrate amen the resurrection 
of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Come on, Remnant, let's give our streamers a hand clap.